Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the Holday and Fine Art YouTube channel. Please do subscribe, please do leave your comments. And today we're continuing with the how to series, how to collect old master paintings. And today the topic is rarity. In one sense, the question of rarity is very straightforward. It comes down to a sense of quantity. The more there are of something, the less it is worth. The less there are of something, the more that it is worth. But actually, and this is not surprising, within the context of old master paintings, there are a number of nuances. Rarity number one. We think of perhaps the work of Vermeer, an example of an artist where there are very few examples of paintings in that artist's oeuvre. And in the case of Vermeer, there are only 35 or 36 known objects by this artist, meaning that each one is worth a great deal. Secondly, rarity two, we think perhaps of how many artworks are available to buy or sell on the open market. Think of Leonardo's Salvatore Mundi. Part of the reason that this object made $450 million two years ago was because it was the last object available from private hands which came on the market. Everything else is in a museum, so it's your last opportunity to capture this master of Renaissance painting, and that lends value to the work. Thirdly, rarity three, there is the sense in which an artist is known entirely for one category of painting. Let's think of portraits and Sir Joshua Reynolds, but occasionally he did religious paintings. This makes these works very rare, but because he is known and famous for portraits, that is what the market wants, and the market does not necessarily want his religious paintings. Fourthly, there is a sense in which a rarity can be determined by the composition itself. Let us look at the double portrait of Gabrielle Destrée and her sister. This is a unique, strange, eccentric composition of one sister tweaking the nipple of another. It does not exist in any other old master paintings. It is an extraordinary work and extremely rare. And then finally, there is the pure economic sense that supply drives demand. The less there is of something, the more that people will be prepared to pay for it. And that is good news for collectors. So ladies and gentlemen, please do leave your comments. Let us know what you think and join us again for the next topic in this how-to series, authenticity. Thank you very much.